if y'all didn't know where this shit came from, bro, this is my era. This is what I used to watch on BET. Yeah, uh, watch about to look at that shirt. Uh, you this want shit, some Bumblebee honestly, bro, it's so crazy when you really think about it, bro, how this... Like, I wonder if Jamie Foxx be knowing, like, yo, I literally am carrying a generation. This man, Jamie Foxx, is carrying a generation, bro. <laughs> yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? <laughs> so crazy, bro. Literally. Carry a generation when it comes down to it, when you really think about it. So, you know, just hearing that now, man, I, I root for Pierre because one of my favorite Pierre tracks is Ballads. And, like... Ballad is 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 one of my favorite Pierre tracks. Like because he used the Yo Pierre all throughout the track, while still flowing effortlessly in the melodies, man. It was just an amazing ass track. If you have not listened to that Ballads, man, it's from TLOP four. I might be TLOP three. I don't know, but TLOP four, man. Um, it's like man, like tracks like that is what me, makes me appreciate you know uh, Drunk and Nasty also as well, man. If you guys don't know. Drunk and Nasty was one of my favorite slow tracks last year. Uh, I, have not, not my, I have not done my slow shit, but I got to do it before the new year comes because I still got to do 2021 list. But, um, you know, I just I appreciate for Pierre for what he does. Again, I still think that he has to find his identity in rap and the way he raps because there is times where he picks up from his peers that he's produced for. I get that. But once he figures that out for me, then I think that Pierre is going to do the damn thing and I'm going to. You know, I'm going to continue supporting him. It's, uh, it's timeless, in my opinion. So good. I don't think it's timeless. I just think it's really good. I think there's tracks on there that could be very, very good. Like, I think Ballad is always going to be in his discography as one of his tracks. So um, I always root for the kid. I'm glad he's in a good space. And we do miss Pierre production as well. Um, I did not. I was definitely disappointed, though, in the Pierre production on the EA album. I will say that. Uh, that EA monster from Young Nudie that just came out two weeks ago. I was disappointed with Pierre on that, but, uh, 2021 list, 2022, almost over, Dev, I know, man, I know, I still gotta get it out, though, I still gotta get it out, uh, let's listen to this shit, though, man, he said, best of the century, it's kinda crazy, I can't lie, told me, yeah, yeah, hey, I gave her my room key, yeah, yeah, take the elevator to me, yeah, yeah, do you guys think that, and let me get a real conversation. Do you think Pierre has enough of a fan base yet in terms of his artistry, in, term, in terms of his his actual tracks, not his production tracks, but his artist tracks? Do you think that Pierre can blow up enough to be sort of a Travis, not a Travis Scott level, obviously, that's extreme. Travis Scott, I'm trying to think, not Kanye, who's a producer turned rapper. You know, Do you think that Pierre is enough to be a household name in rap? Do you think he has it in him? Like, he has that album where he can do it. You don't think so? Like, so he's going to be just, like, our favorite artist rap dominator thing for the T1 um, and the Pritch Um, Yeah, do you think that he's just going to be, like, you know, a currency, w not Wiz Khalifa, because Wiz Khalifa's always, but, you know, like a Dom Kennedy, Larry June. Even Larry June is, is to say, like a Nav. Nav, no, oh, Nav, damn, you're right. Nav is, all, is one of those artists. No, you can't say Nav, because Nav is a household rapper. <laughs> I hate to break that to you, like, Nav is popular enough where he has a big following. Pierre doesn't have that. Do you think okay, that's a good that's a good comparison. Do you think that Pierre can be like Nav? Or a baby king? Hey, love you, man. Thank you for the Twitch Prime member. Love you too, man. Ronnie J tried. Look what happened. I, I didn't even know Ronnie J made artist strikes. <laughs> True. Could. Okay, not yet. He makes good music, fire beats, but could work. Uh, rap it could be more. Maybe with the right features, Baby Kim um, has the most potential for sure, for sure. Southside, mm, no, I, I don't think I've heard Southside rap ever. Um, hey, gotta keep a clock, hey, right into my death, hey, so I never stop. Hey, my money look like blue cheese. But that beat's so nasty, and I always said, I remember the last time I said this, when you're a producer first. You know what sounds good. I just got done saying this on the Nav Wrong Decisions video. You know what sounds good. So, like, it all just comes together for you of what's going to mesh well. Even it's so simple, as a producer, first, you just know everything that's going to be put together to make this whole concept com come together as one to produce music. You know, like... Yeah, he's not like that. That boy not like that. <laughs> hey, hey, my life's up. I think that he needs to uh, implement nudies. 
because I love when Nudie says it as well. Hey, yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? Like, I love Nudie's as well. And then he needs to do Nudie's and then have Jamie Foxx also going all throughout the album because that tag also is what makes his music so iconic in this era generation because it's just so iconic, bro. Like, whenever you hear that shit, you just feel that it's going to be a great ass track, you know? Hey, yo, Dev, you want to come out here? That's crazy. <laughs> hey, yo, Dev, you want to come out here? Nah. Nah. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. yeah, he's not like that. That boy not like that. <laughs> yeah. Clipping that. <laughs> so, you know, Pierre uses a lot of... You know, Pierre uses a lot of gaming samples, and uh, that reminded me of like old Nintendo Zelda with the Scary Ganondorf. You know, ha, 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 from my OGs. You know, Scary Ganondorf. The one thing I was gonna say I didn't want to interrupt before because I want to do my talking at the end. I think the problem, like with Pierre, is you know I think that he was late to the party. I feel like, and and don't take this as disrespect, little Uzith fans. If Pierre came if Pierre came before Lil Uzi, Pierre would be Lil Uzi. Level. I I think that would it's all about who came first. He doesn't he does he's he's definitely had his moments where he raps fast. But if Pierre came first before everybody and used his own beats, he would be bigger than Cardi. And Uzi. <laughs> that sounds crazy to say. <laughs> sounds crazy to say. I feel I feel like that. <laughs> I, I feel like that. Because eh, he made the beats. You know, he we seen that he can do it. But then when you listen to what's the main argument everybody always says when you play Pierre and he starts rapping? Everybody always says he sounds like Uzi. He sounds like Cardi. I'm just saying, they always say that. So if he came first, he would have been just as big. I said just as big. My bad. N not bigger. He would have been just as big. Does that make better? Just as big. Bartier, welcome to the stream, bro. He would have been just as big. I'm just saying. There, no, there's definitely some tracks where he sounds like a Uzi. He has an Uzi flow. There's some tracks where he doesn't. Like, basically, he did the same. He did the shit right here just now. Yeah, yeah, like, like, you know, like, because if he saved those, because if he saved his bomb beats for himself, come on, man. Come on, man. He sounds like any dude trying to rap with no injury. Uzi has other flows. Okay, I'll give you that. Anyways, man, that's just how I feel about that, man. Album next week. Uh, I don't know what the album is actually called, but I am prepared for it. Whether it's good or bad, I know I'm going to get a drunk or nasty from it, switching lanes from it. You know, I'm going to get a ballad from it. Um, I'm going to so sus girl, sus boy. I'm definitely going to get something from those albums, and that's why I enjoy it because when I get that one track from Pierre, he always fulfills me. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, man, until the next time, this is your boy Dev. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff. Follow me on social media what you hear. Until the next time, this is your boy Dev. <laughs> Love y'all, man. We out. Peace.